So by now you've probably heard the news. Nintendo have announced a Legend of Zelda movie completely out of the blue. A post on the Nintendo website reads, Nintendo is pleased to announce that it has begun planning and developing a live-action movie based on The Legend of Zelda. The film will be produced jointly by Shigeru Miyamoto, Nintendo Representative Director and Fellow, and Avi Arad, President of Arad Productions Incorporated, who has produced numerous blockbuster films. The film will be produced by Nintendo and Arad Productions Incorporated and directed by Wes Ball. Additionally, Nintendo will finance over 50% of the film's production costs, and Sony Pictures Entertainment Incorporated will be responsible for worldwide distribution and co-financing. So there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth, Nintendo are working alongside Sony Pictures Entertainment and Arad Productions Incorporated to bring The Legend of Zelda to the big screen, something that has seemed inevitable ever since the gigantic success of the Super Mario Bros. movie. But the inevitability of this happening doesn't make it any less scary. I'm, of course, incredibly excited to see my favourite video game franchise make the jump to cinema, but I am nervous about it. I really want this production to do the games justice, and translate what makes this series so special to the silver screen. Obviously, the biggest news here is that the film will be live action, rather than animated. The topic of a Legend of Zelda film has been the subject of fiery debate for years, and most of those who want to see it adapted would like to see it animated, myself included. I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised, but for me, an animated Zelda movie would have been a much safer bet, and would have been a far easier medium to capture the magic of this series with. A live-action Zelda film means they'll have to mesh CGI environments and characters with real actors, and, most worryingly, they'll have to cast an actual person to play Link. This movie means we might be seeing Link played by an actor we're familiar with, like how Tom Holland played Nathan Drake in Uncharted. Nintendo have shown with the Mario movie that they're not shy of using the biggest Hollywood names in these productions, so it's not impossible that we'll see actors of the same calibre and mainstream appeal as Chris Pratt, Seth Rogen and Jack Black make the casting for this film. But the choice of actors will, of course, heavily depend on the story told in the movie. Link and Zelda are usually quite young, with the exception of Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, they're children. So perhaps we'll see a situation more similar to Harry Potter, where the lead roles were all given to unknown child actors, which I'd personally much prefer to seeing big-name Hollywood celebrities in this film. While the various Links are all their own characters, with their own stories and personalities, Link is designed to be a blank slate, a deliberately plain, androgynous hero that anyone, no matter who they are, can relate to and see themselves in. Link is what links players to these games, to these adventures, and he should have the same role in the movie, less of a character and more of a vessel to transport viewers to this version of Hyrule someone we can experience this movie through. An unknown child actor taking on the role is the best way I can think of accomplishing this. Someone we can come to see as Link, rather than a megastar dressed as him. Live action also means that Link will probably speak, something he doesn't do much in the games. Of course, Link isn't canonically mute. He does talk to characters, we just don't hear his voice. Whoever plays Link will not only have to look like Link, but talk for him too, giving him a proper voice for the first time since, um... Hey! Excuse me, princess! So, Link's voice is going to be a major hurdle. He will have to speak for the film to work. I don't think a completely silent protagonist would work in a live-action fantasy film but I definitely don't want to see him cracking jokes the whole time. Link is a very reserved character, and his live-action counterpart should reflect that. Zelda's diary in Breath of the Wild gives us some insight into his stoicism. 
She writes that, with so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he chooses to rely on his inner strength and silently bear any burden. A live-action Link should be a man of few words, only speaking when necessary, letting his actions speak for him. The castings for Zelda and Ganondorf are, in my opinion, less important. Of course, the actors need to properly represent these characters, but we've already seen both Hyrule's Princess and the King of Evil depicted with multiple different designs and personalities throughout the series, with both of them even having full voice acting in Tears of the Kingdom, portrayed by Patricia Somerset and Matt Mercer respectively in the English version. Zelda and Ganondorf are both far more established characters than Link, so I think it'll be far easier to buy the performances of actors in these roles. Outside of who we'll see filling these roles, another massive question about this movie is just what exactly it'll be about. The Zelda series has almost 40 years of history, 20 main series games, each telling their own stories set in their own version of Hyrule or the lands beyond. Will the Zelda movie try to adapt one of the game's plots or tell its own separate story? Personally, I don't think Nintendo will look to faithfully adapt an existing Zelda story to the big screen. A film based on the story of Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, or Skyward Sword would be fantastic. Each have gripping, epic narratives with set pieces that would translate well to cinema, yet remain grounded with an emotional core to the story. But I think it's more likely that the film will be its own entity, something based on the iconic elements of the Zelda series without being restricted to the story of one particular game. It'll almost certainly be set in Hyrule, feature Link, Zelda, Ganondorf and the Triforce, but will probably tell its own story. Zelda stories are, of course, designed around the game's structures. In traditional Zelda games, the ones that came before Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, the story leads Link from dungeon to dungeon, giving him a reason to adventure across the land and claim magical artifacts. For this to feel like a Zelda film, it will have to include dungeons and bosses just as much as it will Hyrule itself, so designing a way to seamlessly sew them into the narrative will be one of the writer's biggest challenges. Princess Zelda herself will almost certainly have a massively significant role in the film's story. It's very unlikely that she will fill the damsel in distress role she so often does in the games, like how Princess Peach was given a stronger role in the Mario movie. This won't be hard to do organically, however. Zelda is always massively important in the games, and there are numerous different depictions of the character with agency that the film's writers could draw from, depending on the overall plot. Ocarina of Time's Zelda, of course, has an alter ego as Sheik, with powerful Sheikah abilities. Skyward Sword Zelda is the Goddess Hylia Reborn, and Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom Zelda has multiple traits that define her character, like her passion for researching ancient technology and her role as the inheritress of the royal family's sealing powers. In terms of the villain, I can't see it being anyone but Ganondorf. While his boar demon form in Ganon was the original Zelda villain, the King of the Gerudo is just far more interesting. If adapted properly, he could be a deep, complicated character who keeps the audience guessing, surprising them with plot twists as his dark schemes are unveiled. While the Mario movie's Bowser works as a somewhat comedic villain, Ganondorf should be downright terrifying a deranged, monstrous warlord who wants power and nothing else. More importantly, I hope the film has some genuine narrative depth, and isn't just surface-level action or fan service. The Mario movie works as a Mario movie, but it's exactly what you'd expect, a very shallow story that moves from one set piece to the next. Which works fine for Mario, his games have never been about the plot, just about having fun. But Zelda is different. Since the very beginning, these games have been drenched in mystery and lore, with narratives that extend beyond simply supporting the gameplay. 
the world building and plots of Zelda games have been integral to the series' success, and it's absolutely vital that the movie captures this essence. Whatever story they decide to tell needs to have meaning and subtext. It needs to be more than just a fun fantasy action adventure. This doesn't mean it won't still appeal to all audiences. Nintendo will want the movie to have the widest reach possible, but the monstrous success of adaptions like Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy shows that epic fantasy films can have mainstream appeal while retaining the soul of what they were based on. I'm less interested in the people themselves behind this film's production. There's been a lot of discussion online about the filmography of producer Avi Arad, who's worked on a set of films with wildly varying quality, from the Spider-Verse movies to Uncharted and Morbius. But we know that Nintendo will be incredibly closely involved in this film's production likely retaining a lot of creative control over its direction, like they were with the Mario movie. There was a similar worry when it was announced that Nintendo would be partnering with Illumination, known for their relatively uninteresting, run-of-the-mill family films. But with Nintendo breathing down their necks the whole time, they were able to produce a truly gorgeous movie where their passion was palpable, and the end result was the studio's best work by far. Hopefully, whoever is involved in the Zelda film will be guided by Nintendo to replicate this attention to detail, to respect the franchise and its fans, and deliver something that honours this series' legacy. It is worth discussing the man slated to direct the Zelda movie, however, Wes Ball. He's only directed four films so far, the Maze Runner trilogy and the upcoming Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I've never watched the Maze Runner films, they received something of a mixed reception, but it's clear that Wes Ball is able to capture the scale and grandeur necessary for Zelda. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes looks great, with some stunning cinematography, and could be an example of how Ball will adapt a large-scale fantasy adventure like Zelda. If the film is well written and well cast, I think there's every chance that it'll turn out great under his supervision. Whatever the outcome is though, whether this film is great or terrible, it's almost certain that we'll be seeing Link pull the Master Sword on the big screen in the coming years, and I'm happy with that. I'm cautiously optimistic. I've followed this series my entire life, it's my biggest passion, and we're about to see it make the jump into mainstream. Let's hope it delivers. Let me know what you think about this announcement in the comments. Are you nervously excited like me? What do you think of the choice of live action over animation? What story would you like to see depicted, if any? For more of my thoughts, check out my new podcast, Zeldudes, with a discussion all about the Zelda movie going live this weekend. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.